Hey YouTube, today we're going to take a look at the RCA basic indoor antenna, the ANT-111F, available at Amazon.com for $7.71 and at Walmart for $10. Now this basic indoor antenna is a passive indoor antenna and it can be used to obtain high definition and digital channels from over the air television stations in your area. It comes with a user's guide and it shows you how to assemble your antenna, find the best location for your antenna, and how to connect the antenna to your television. It also has some troubleshooting tips. Now also inside the box is the base unit for the antenna. Alongside of that are the actual antennas, which is, includes two VHF dipole antennas and a UHF antenna. The first thing we're going to do is insert the VHF antennas into the base unit. Screw them in so they're snug, but don't over tighten them so that they break. The next thing we are going to put in is the UHF antenna. And all you have to do here is push them into the two holes and you'll hear them snap into place when they're inserted properly. Now I want to show you something. I picked up this quad shield coax cable and I picked this up at Walmart. I believe it was the GE brand and it offers four times the insulation of a normal coax cable which really helps with the signal from the antenna to the television because the uh, coax cable behind the television will get some interference without that. Now using antennaweb.org I am about 15 miles from Providence if you look on my right side window and if you look at the left window I'm about 30 miles from Boston. Now what I want to do is I'm going to place the RCA antenna in the left window because I find that I get a better signal from both cities in that in that location. Now, here's a coax coupler. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to connect the quad shield cable with the cable coming from the RCA antenna. And as you can see, the difference in the dimensions of the two cables. The quad shield cable is a really nice cable when you look at it and you can see the protection it offers compared to the standard cable that comes with the antenna. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go into our television set, make sure the tuner mode is on antenna, and we're going to auto scan. Now according to Antenna Web, I have 49 digital channels available from 22 over the air stations and 18 of those stations have a strong signal strength while four stations have a moderate signal strength. We're about a quarter of the way through the auto scan and we've located eight digital channels. Now I know I could have just fast forward through this part, but I want to take everyone through it and watch the process in this first video. We're now approaching the halfway mark and we have located 17 digital channels. One thing I've noticed with, the, with an over-the-air antenna as opposed to cable, the picture quality is so much better. Uh, it really pops compared to what you get with the compression that cable or satellite offers. And for me, I have Cox Communications here in Rhode Island, and they offer all the Providence local channels, but it's really nice to watch the Boston channels and get that flavor of the news and especially sports so you can catch up with uh, the Red Sox, Bruins, Patriots and Celtics. Okay we're almost complete and it looks like the television has located 29 digital channels and we're gonna quickly go through them right now. Okay this is PBS in Boston
This is CBS Boston, ABC Boston, ABC Providence, NBC Boston, CBS Providence, Fox Boston. And it's going to be great because I'm going to watch 24 tonight, live another day. And I'll be watching that with my over the air antenna. Now I'm going to be doing another video soon. And I'm going to be connecting a RCA amplifier to this passive antenna to see if there's any changes in the number of channels I receive and the picture quality. Because some channels, as you can see, are coming in just a little weaker than others or taking longer to lock in. So when the scan was complete, 13 out of the 18 channels with strong signal strength were located. Uh, for the price, this antenna really can't be beat. It uh, exceeded all of my expectations. Um, I believe there's other antennas out there that could probably do better, and we'll see in future videos as I plan on reviewing several more. But overall, dollar for dollar, you really can't beat this RCA basic indoor antenna, and it's worth a shot. Uh, just work on placement, and I give it a very good rating.